Uh, this is a quick guide into pagin pagination, which in CSS, basically just a numbered list you can choose from pages, basically. So one, two, three, four, five. So first, we've got to start with a UL, and we will just call it pagination. And do the end tag, and now we just drop some just dummy list in, basically. Just to fill it up, and we've got to add a link to it as well. Another dummy link, basically, doesn't matter where you put it. So, and remember to use the tag. So, we're just going to make some copy of these just to fill it up. So, that's plus, change this to one, two, or three. I'll probably add one more, just keep it even. Save that, and now is where we start doing some of the styling. So first, we need to do this and display so it you know shows how we want it to show. Also, next thing we're going to remove any inbuilt padding that might be. It's just a thing, just to be careful. Don't want it acting all weird, looking a bit odd. Remember they add the dot separate so it connects together. I don't even know separates is the one word to use, but yeah, so it makes sure it's connected to the right path. Uh, now we want it to display in line. This one's a bit of math <laughs> UL pagination to list to the link. So we want it to float left. Add a bit of padding. Then remove the horrible link because uh, every time you make a link, it will always look blue until you remove the decoration of it. Looks terrible. And this is where we change the background, add a bit of transition to it. Now we just add some more conventional stars to it, so one pixel solid, ooh, solid red. And remember to add the semicolon or it won't work correctly. Ooh. There we go. See, when you do zero, you don't need to put the PX in, it already like, understands. So we're going to make it a little larger, so it's easy to see. We've got two more to do, so that's nice. So, hey, this is the reason why we did the selected, but the class was selected, because when you do have like more behind the scenes, you know, code and all that. Once you change the page and all that kind of stuff, it will remember what page number it is, so it will keep it highlighted. So people, you know, basically just good user interface for people that want. But usually people don't want pink, but we're gonna have pink anyway. <laughs> a bit of roundness, and then we're gonna add the border. Just one pixel, dotted, black. And the last one we have to do is to make sure when it's not selected. This is again would only work once the you know you got a bit of scripting behind it to remember which page is on and all that. So. But it shows you how to, you know, do it. So, there we go. And then we just set the background color we want it to change to. So, if we run it, we should now have a. Well, it look amazing, amazing, but <laughs> it will look the part at least. So, there we go. So, you change the color in it. Changes when you click on it as well, and you got a plus and sign. And also, I realised I must—I forgot one thing. I need to add the class selected, which is the whole reason I put it. So now you can see. There we go. So number two is now selected. So if you did have it like 
a fully automated, you know, fully working web page, and the you know, different pages and all that, it would then tell the user that you were on page two. This is just to show you how to style that when you need to. So thanks for watching and goodbye.